guys, this is my first video, um, so I'm going to be doing lots of tutorials and little hauls and things. Um, this is just like a setup one just to get started in a mini haul. So let's get started. I bought some makeup this month, I bought a lot of cloves and stuff and I also got some latex as well. So I'm just going to be shooting in that as well. And but I think I'm gonna do a separate video for that as well. Um, I done my makeup today because I got a new dress from the Serbia. Um, yeah, and I done it in the style of Sadie. Um, I'm a big collector of Living Dead dolls. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's Sadie. She's my favorite doll. So cute, she. Just love them. So just gonna show the makeup. My setup is so dumb right now. I've literally got my phone on a tripod thing. It looks like an octopus. It's really cool. It's like me as a tripod. But anyway, um, they've just opened a NYX in Princess Street, like where I stay, and I went a bit crazy. So I got these and they're a liquid suede. And that's the one I'm wearing right now. It's called Silver Fox or Stone Fox. And it's cruelty free, which is great. There it is there. And I don't need to show you a swatch because I've got it on here. But I got my second favourite colour. It's pink. And I think the shade is Pink Lust. And I tried it on and it's quite Barbie pink. So I think I'll have to wear like something really pink or something. And totally look out of my comfort zone but that's great. I also done my eyes a different colour as well. I used lime crime and something else which I'm sh gonna show you later as well. So this is the colour here. Very very bright but I think it's gorgeous. And I got another one which is very similar to Shroom and Cashmere by Lime Crime. And I think it's Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. And this is another liquid suede. And the colour of this is Sandstorm. So Such a nice colour, I love browns. the shade there. The really orangey reddy brown. I love that. It goes so well. But like I said I've tried it and it lasts for ages. It's so cheap. So cheap. So that's always a bonus as well especially with like NYX. It's really high-end quality. It's so cheap. You're gonna hear that a lot. Another thing I got from NYX was the blushes and they were very like intense blush colours so I've got a bit of makeup on that I'm so messy I've got like this baby wipe and he's just sitting there covered in makeup but yeah so I got these two but the thing is I did try it on my face and the colour I think you should probably just use it if you're wanting an intense look not every day but if you like that sort of thing do it every day, but me, I look to like look like I've died, and maybe bright pink. Well, it depends how, you know, you died. But I don't think bright pink looks good on my cheeks sometimes, unless I want to look like Adamant or something, which is a good look, but not today. So I can't open it. Come on, I need arms like John Cena or something. So there's the bright pink here and it is so bright. So I used it as an eyeshadow and I think it looks so good as an eyeshadow. Whew. And I've put a big wipe over it and it's not coming off anytime soon. I mean that's like a love-hate thing with NYX. I mean you want that but at the same time it's like Oh, it's not coming off my hand. 
like when I swatch them in the shop, it's, I need to like put a million cleansers on top just to get it off, which is a good thing. And I think these were like six pound, six fifty maybe. And oh, I forgot to put that one there. That is the red one here, which I'm about to swatch. I bought them in mine to use as like eyeshadows. But I think it's such a cool colour. It's going all red because of the lighting. But yeah. Um, I don't want to put on my cheeks personally because when I did, it made me look like I had some horrible disease or some horrible rash or something so yeah maybe for Halloween but every day is Halloween so it's okay I'll wear it every day so the other thing I got was their concealer and I was really impressed with this because I have a lot of like dark circles and things like that so when I tried it out in the shop I tried it on my finger tattoo a lot of people think this one's a vase but it's actually a crystal ball Wrong way. So. Look at that. That's going to seal your deepest, darkest secrets with that shit. But yeah, I was really impressed with that. Um, this one is... I think it's the Above and Beyond... <laughs> Sorry. Um, the Above and Beyond um, Full Coverage Concealer. And it comes in a little pot as well. Most of the time I would apply it with like a brush, but I'm so messy, I can never find my brushes. But, you know, I will, I will find them. Just slap it on with your hands. And I also tried out the, the eyelash thing. I forgot the word. Mascara, there we go. So it's the NYX Stacked and it's a Lush Lashes Mascara and I've got that on right now. And it's really, really long as well and it only costs 6 50 again. I mean, I spent probably about £40 and I got a lot of stuff, so win-win. Um, with this as well, it's got the bristles that I really like so you can define them. It's got like a little stick and yeah so it's got like short bristles and long bristles so you can like even it out and stuff which is pretty cool um what else have we got what's in my book of secrets makeup stuff um i got like a really 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 cheap highlighter just because it looked really good and mua is a brilliant like for their liquid lipsticks, I love them. They're just, I've just bought like every single one. It's so hard not to buy things. But this cost, I think it was like three pounds and it's really, really nice. I've used so much of it already. It's like, it looks so gross. But look at that. It's like, that's brighter than my future. So. It goes on really well as well like look at that it's so shiny I absolutely love highlighters I can never have enough highlight it's beautiful so that was the makeup that I got this month and yeah great buys um, and I would recommend all of that but now I'm gonna move on to the clothes Starting off with the dress I just got this morning. Um, thankfully it arrived on time. I've still got things that are coming so they'll be in the next video. Um, so yeah, it's from Disturbia. It's the rosemary dress I think. I got in a large though so it's quite baggy but it was the only size they had and it was on sale. I think it used to be like 42.50 and now it was reduced down to 31.50 so it for ages and I was like, buy it, buy it. My inside voice just like, get it. So yeah, it's really comfy. The one thing I'm really confused about, but I think it adds to the look, is the sleeves. They've got like open sort of bits and 
they're just kind of they get in the way quite a lot but apart from that it's nice I like it but the sleeves I wish they were just like that be much nicer um whatever stuff's like over there so I need to like do this awkward reach thing so more of the Disturbia stuff I got a little patch and I thought it was really cute I'm working on this jacket like last month I bought this jacket from H&M there we go I have memory block a lot it's like um yeah so I'm gonna make it all cool and make loads of cool patches but I thought this one was really cool love anything like this and like yeah no. like that sort of thing so yeah I like that um it was only like two pounds or something it was in the sales so yeah and another thing I wanted for so long was this cardigan I probably got all cat hair because my cat's not in at the moment he likes to go running everywhere and then like like run back all the way home so but he'll probably come in tonight screaming at me and Paul for food Paul's my other half he's playing Dark Souls at the moment gamer and I think this month as well I swear we probably bought a hundred pound worth of energy juice I have a problem a problem so I got this Um, it says I want to leave and it's so cute it's like got all this Japanese print it's really sweet I'll probably post like a few pictures of me wearing it later just because there's so little room and things but yeah it's got little cute tassels on the ends I've wanted it for so long it'd be so nice just to wear it for like college and stuff because I've just started going back to college which is I'm probably gonna want to die in a few months but everything is a-okay um, another thing I got as well I don't like buying so much out of Primark just because it doesn't last but it's okay for like necessities and things like that but one of the things I spotted was actually in the pajama section and it's really nice soft top and it's actually a Harry Potter top and I just love the style of it I thought it was so pretty and I think it was only something really, really cheap, like 4 50 which I think is amazing for something that looks like that, because it was so nice and I had to buy it. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, but I don't know if it'll last long, but fingers crossed. What was that? That was a thumbs up. That's like, there we go. Um, another one I got, I really love this band, so... I don't really go and you probably just saw it there I don't go into like pop that often just you know but I did see a few things that I really liked from there like because most of the time now they sell like sort of scene style and things and I mean I used to like that sort of thing mm, Davy Vanning <laughs> yeah but now as I've gone older you know kind of grown out of that which is probably for the better but you know I pop in there sometimes and I saw a Bauhaus top so I just decided to get myself that and it's really sweet and I like it and it fits really nice as well and I'll probably post a few pictures of me wearing that but I think they had a deal on like two for twenty so I got Paul a Joy Division t-shirt as well so you know you can't go wrong um what else have I got I haven't got much but like I said I'm gonna put like I just ordered like some latex outfits so I'll post another video with that <laughs> so I got this as well and it's absolutely gorgeous on oh, it's so nice and I got it from pulp game um it's by band and it's like just a little Ouija board dress the tie bit usually goes at the back so it really pulls your waist in really defines everything and what I really liked about it and I didn't notice until I got home it's got like a transparent back and I think that is everything I got this month I probably got more stuff but 
because my memory span is similar to that of a goldfish. I probably forgot about it, but like I said, I did get some latex stuff as well. Um, but I'm going to do that in a separate video and everything like that. Just makes more sense to do it. But one of the things that came this morning was a custom set by Lucy Latex. So it's so nice. But yeah, I'm just going to keep that to show you guys when I do my latex haul video. Just because... You know, I like keeping things. Well, I try to make surprises, but it never usually goes well. But yeah, um, that is everything for today. I'm also going to be making a doll collection video, maybe even a book collection, just and like daily vlogs and just shit like that. Um, and anything that you guys want to see, yeah, um, I might even do a few like art tutorials and things like that as well. So. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. I don't know. I don't know. Just bye.